the XFL was 50 times better than USFL. Yeah. That, that is not an understatement. No. That, that is not an understatement at all. When you come from an entertainment standpoint, I think like viewership, interest, everything. The way it was being run, I think a lot of people would say the XFL was miles ahead of the USFL. So now you guys are partners, which I appreciate, you know, making the best league absolutely possible. How hands, you said it's a 50-50 split. Are you hands-on as much as you were with the XFL? How do you see that thing going, and what uh, do you I, think of I, I the do. partnership? I, 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 I love the partnership. I thought that those guys, thank you, by the way, for the flowers. I appreciate that. We worked hard with the XFL. Dude, you were selling on stadiums. Yeah. For a spring league. Yeah, for a spring league. We did pretty good. Yes. And, and we had the wind against us, uh, you know, that we went down, COVID went down, uh, or COVID bought the league down in 2020. And so we had our work ahead of us. USFL already had a jump start. They already had a season. But at the end, end of the day, I'm happy that we joined forces. I do believe in spring football. I think there's a place for it. You guys know, it's like when you ball out, I, you know, I was one of those guys who, if I had more reps, maybe I would have been a little bit better. I just didn't have that choice mm. and that, that opportunity. Mm -hmm. So that's what spring football represents. So I'm glad we're together right now and still as hands on as ever. And at the end of the day, I, I love the game and I love creating opportunities just for players. And that's really what it comes